Last year I bought you guys Jazz's Jazzy Art Box. An exclusive limited collection of all my favorite drawing stuff. You guys loved it. I'm so excited. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow. It sold out and it was only available for a limited time. Today, I am launching three new boxes packed with even more value than Jazz's Jazzy Art Box had, covering three of my favorite mediums individually and combined to an insane amount of value in the ultimate creativity collection. In approaching making these three boxes, I had three things on my checklist. One has to have insane value, meaning really high quality. Two everything you need to dive into it, nothing to hold you back, that means quantity. And three, I really wanted to take this opportunity to make some really unique and exciting handcrafted stuff. I've been able to do all of that. These are those boxes. Oh my God. As you can see, the stuff barely fits in. <laughs> there are some boxes out there that end up being a little disappointing when you open them. Let's be honest, that is not gonna happen with these boxes. They are Awesome. Now I'm gonna show you everything that's in all of these boxes right now, but if you wanna get straight to the point, you can go to the website. They're available now as the Ultimate Creativity Collection, all three for the first seven days, and then individual boxes after that. So make sure to click notify me on the box you're most interested in if you wanna get an individual box. Now these two boxes, are the same price as Jazz's Jazzy Art Box. Where Jazz's Jazzy Art Box was retail valued at $150, the Super Sculpture Box is valued at over $160, and the Inky Box at over $170 US dollars. Both of them are only $99.99. Then we have the Mega Minis Box. Now, those of you who do collect minis know that the hobby is a pretty expensive one to get into, which is why the retail value of everything inside this box, which is everything you need to get into it is over $414. But I am so excited that we were able to put so much in there and bring it to you for $199.99. This is my personal favorite and we'll get, again, I'll go through all this stuff in a minute. But suffice it to say, there is an extraordinary amount of value in all of these boxes. But even more so, if you get all three where the value, the retail value inside the Ultimate Creativity Collection is over $745, we're selling it for $365. On top of getting all three of the boxes in the Ultimate Creativity Collection, you get to order first for the next seven days. This is what we're selling before we go individual boxes. You get first priority shipping, so you're most likely to get your order in time for the holidays. I mean, come on, guys. $380 of savings. You're paying less for the box than you're saving when you buy the box. As you can tell, I am obsessed with giving you as much value as possible. And in my mission to do that, I am committing to hand sign an art print for every person who purchases the Ultimate Creativity Collection. An artwork I'm gonna make using all of the materials in all of the boxes, which I am so excited to bring to you. Now, there's a bit of an elephant in the room, uh, and that is that $365 is a lot of money. I genuinely understand. So in the effort to make the boxes as accessible as possible, we're actually implementing the four payment system. If you pay with four, you can choose to break up the price of your box into four equal payments, and that way you can lock your order in ASAP so you have the best chance of getting your order in time for the holidays, but you'll be able to spread the cost out a bit while you still get in early. Hopefully that makes it more accessible and approachable and enables you to get some of that value without paying for the whole thing in one go. Everything's super clear on the website. Go check it out. The link's in the description. Then after seven days, we're opening up orders to the individual boxes. So if you don't want to miss out and if you want to get your box in time for the holidays, make sure to be notified or secure your order ASAP. <sighs> it's time. I'm going to show you everything that is in all of the boxes. The incredible inky box is centered around uh, ink and calligraphy. So let's start off with what you can write on. It comes with a Fabriano gridded sketchbook. And this is gridded so that you can practice your calligraphy with the elegant writer set, or of course your dip pen or your brushes. Then we have the cappuccino sketchbook by Hannah Mule. This is an off-tone sketchbook. And I love that it feels like an ancient tome of mystical beauty and a really modern, sleek, beautiful art book. Then we've got 10 custom cut pieces of Dura Bright ink paper. You sort of have to see it and feel it to know why it's different, but it, it's really smooth and really unique in the way that it holds ink and I don't know, the, the textures and the blends and the almost the poor aesthetic that you get when using this is just incredible. So you get a lot to write on and then there's a lot to write with. Starting off with the elegant writer calligraphy set. These are four chisel tip calligraphy pens of different sizes and it's just really satisfying. 
trying to get that unique line weight variation that you get with chisel pens. They feel awesome to use. Then we've also got these. These are Royal and Langnickel Crafters Choice Pro brushes. And then of course, saving the most special to last, we have our custom Jazza dip pen calligraphy box. Not only do you get seven custom nibs that you can swap between in the dip pen, but it just feels amazing. The weight and the smoothness of the glass handle. I personally picked that white fillet, just feels so regal. Comes with a stand and of course with some ink. And then speaking of ink, you've got the black ink that comes with your dip pen. Then you've got three acrylic inks, red, yellow, and blue. You can mix your colors and get different blends. And then you've got your alcohol-based ink. Some of the blends you can get are incredible. And I've picked three colors that work really, really well together. So you can jump into experimenting and have a lot of fun. You can use all this stuff for calligraphy, but also all different sort of illustration experiments or pours or blends. My favorite of all of the inks is the rainbow alcohol ink. You can mix this with so many different different things to supplement and just make something pop. I used the rainbow ink with these other three colors in the resin pour video I made a few weeks ago. So you can definitely experiment a lot with more than just calligraphy. And in fact, this pour was made with the exact same alcohol ink colors that come with this box and with that beautiful rainbow ink. And it's just brought the whole thing to life. It's the reason that it feels so special. Last but not least, and one of the most high value items in the incredible inky box is a full set of Jacquard Pearl X powders. You get nine colors. Now, now these are one of those things that you have to, like the paper, you have to feel it and use it to understand why it's so amazing. So it comes with three little tubs of the binding agent and then your nine colors. Every single one of these colors is so shiny and friggin' amazingly gorgeous, it's hard to even describe. And that's just in the powder form. Like, look how gorgeous that looks when you mix it with a liquid medium and you can just mix it with a binding agent and with water, but you can also mix it with alcohol medium. You can use it in resin or acrylic pores. So it's mixable in all sorts of ways, but also even in and of themselves, when you turn them into an ink, they make the most amazing and satisfying inks that you can use for calligraphy or your art or illustration experiments. These are mind-blowingly cool and one of the most fun things you're gonna be able to experiment with. And I love this box because not only does it have everything you need to learn and improve in something, but also just play and have a blast. And it's worth mentioning once again, if you wanted to get all of this stuff for yourself, it would cost you so much more than we're giving it to you for in the Incredible Inky Box. And it all is really carefully picked to go together and to give you as much use out of everything that we've put in here. All right, moving on. Next, we have the Super Sculpture Box. Sculpture, again, is one of those mediums that I've discovered in the last few years of my channel that I've fallen in love with. So this box contains everything you need to try all of the things that I know I love and have shared with you over the years and to be able to really dive into it. Starting off with the polymer clays. We've got the Sculpey 3 full 10 pack of their core colors. Then we have half a pound of Cos Clay. This is also an oven curable polymer clay, but it's quite different. There is nothing like this on the market. It's really unique because when you bake it, it is flexible still. So it feels like almost like a doll like texture. In fact, I've got uh, I've got my zombie here. I made this with Cos Clay. You could make something like this. And even though he's baked, he's still flexible. He feels sort of rubbery to the touch. It's really quite cool. And as you can see, it's paintable. Now I've painted mine with this delightful aesthetic. Then my favorite clay is the monster clay. This is just the most satisfying clay to work with. Now, as you can see, I've worked with it a number of times, but the clay that we're sending is the brand new gray monster clay. And they only launched it very recently. So we're including a whole pound of the gray monster clay. For context, you can only buy monster clay in five pound tubs or in very small sample packs. So I'm really excited that they're actually making a custom one pound block of monster clay. So you can explore monster clay, but to a substantial degree without buying five pounds if you'd never used it before and then having to get the tools and not knowing what to get. Speaking of tools, this is another one of those things that I'm super picky about. I have bought countless tools over the years that I am not pleased with. And in this box, I've kept and refined all of the ones that I love and am pleased with. And they also have really cool cases. So this one is the stainless steel tool case. These are all really durable and feel great in hand. And you've got a really special velvet case to keep them in. Then we have the custom Jazza tool case. You can open this up and put put all of the rest of your tools in whatever way you please. And the tools that the box comes with are the rubber shapers. Then these are the uh, steel ribbon sculpting tools for like 
carving clay off. There's also a Sculpey acrylic roller. These are really, really useful. And some cutting tools to divide up your clay. You've got a burnishing set. Armature wire, of course, so you can construct your support for your sculptures. Again, everything you need. Last but not least, a little special extra touch from Jackie over at Nerdy Crafter who recommended including a set of pastels. So I got a big old set of 36 pastels that we're including with brushes. The reason this is in the sculpture box is because while when you oven bake the polymer clay, it cures and you can paint it, you can also color your polymer clay with the pastel. Using that powder and the brushes, you can apply it to the polymer clay before you bake it, which creates the permanent coloring and can be just a fun part of the sculpture process before you uh, finalize and, and bake your sculpt. So there it is, everything you need to get into sculpture, to have a blast, to explore new mediums, to stock up on stuff that you love, and at the best price you're ever gonna see. <laughs> All right, that's the, that's the Super Sculpture Box. Now I am biased, but I believe I've saved the best to last. Not only because it has such high value stuff, but it also has such unique stuff. So let's start off with the unique stuff. The most exciting thing to me is the Apocalypse Ghost deluxe display miniature. Now, those of you who don't know, the Apocalypse Ghost is an artwork I made a number of years ago on a video on this channel. It's been one of your guys' favorite artworks. It's one of my favorite artworks. And not only because it's such a beautiful scene, if I may say so myself, but the fact that there's two characters enables you to get more value because you can either paint them as the one miniature or you can separate them. We've actually created a separate base for the female so that she can stand on her own display so that if in your efforts to learn miniature painting you feel like doing the whole big scene all at once feels like a lot to take on you can actually divide it up you can paint one at a time so the retail value of this custom and unique display miniature is over 120 us dollars which is again only going to be available through the mega minis box and for that limited time then we have the Jazzy Strike. Now it's no secret that the miniature painting I've gotten into has primarily been Warhammer and Puppets War who have worked with me to both create this unique beautiful display miniature but also produce their own sets of miniatures that are unique in and of themselves but also compatible with uh, Warhammer and 40k miniatures. Meaning all of the bits you get in here you can use to build the miniatures that they design. You can also use the parts which you get more than enough to build those five characters to muck around if you already collect 40k. There's 11 heads, one of which which is mine. Six types of shoulder pads, five custom bases, and way more different arms and weapons and stuff uh, than you actually would even need to create those five characters. And one of the coolest and most unique things about the Puppets War figures is the magnet system. This isn't in any other miniatures that I've ever seen. And you're gonna get the magnets to be able to do this. And here's one I painted so you can sort of see that you can swap the limbs around. You can mix and match the parts and pieces for all of your different little miniatures. You can repose them. It's just so satisfying and so cool and fun. And once again, you get everything in the miniature collection collection in the minis box to make something like this and more. You get a huge amount and the retail value of this is over 85 US dollars. On top of that, Army Painter have worked with me to create this unique and custom Jazz's collection of materials and tools. So inside Jazz's Army Painter collection comes with 12 colors that I've handpicked, including your gold and silver metallics. I've also included a few extra important things, a brush on primer so that your paint goes down on the resin miniatures or any plastics you paint really well. And it also comes with a gloss varnish and a strong tone, which is sort of a wash, which is a really cool way to help detail your minis really easily. I need to create a whole bunch of content showing you how to use all this stuff. So don't worry if this feels intimidating, if you're interested and it seems exciting, which it is, I'm gonna look after you, don't worry worry and it's gonna be fun. You also get three brushes. One is a dry brush, the other's a basing brush, and then third and most importantly, you have a masterwork Kalinsky Sable Hair natural brush. This brush is the perfect size and shape and handle and quality to be something that can last you many years of satisfying miniature painting. You also get a bunch of miniature basing kits and stuff you can use for dioramas, a set of tweezers and a miniature painting guide courtesy of Army Painter. So again, everything you need to dive into the hobby.
Everything inside of the Jazz's collection made by Army Painter comes to a retail value of over $112. Now that's the cool tools, but there's also a whole bunch more. One of the most awesome things for me is the wet palette. This is something I've only discovered and started using this year and it's changed my life. So I really wanted to include one of these in here for you guys. You basically soak this sponge with water and you use paper on top to mix your paints on top of it. Keeps your paints blending really well and it keeps them from drying out. So not only does the paint go down on the model better because it's sort of semi watered down when you use a wet palette, but it also lasts for days. I have a wet palette I'm currently using in the house with the paints I'm using every day and I've used all week on the miniatures that I'm working on in my personal time. A wet palette will change your painting and your life. I'll show you how to use it later. Don't worry. And you got sharp stuff. These are really important, of course, for you know putting together your dioramas or cleaning your miniatures. But of course, they're you know they're sprue cutters and a knife, so be careful. And we have a dry palette, which is like a wet palette, but without the wet bit. It's a palette. <laughs> you can mix your metallics, which aren't great to mix onto a, a wet palette. And also so you can mix things with glues or terrain stuff or whatever, because uh, obviously you'll need a place to do that. Milliput is awesome. It's a, a two-part epoxy sculpting medium. So you mix the two colors together and you create this sort of yellowish putty that you can then mix and sculpt capes or terrain or props or textures or fur coats or whatever. I love sculpting sculpting custom stuff on top of minis. And then also it's what you're going to use to fill some of the natural little crevices and gaps you get when you put your mini together. The millipart you sort of mix up and then you can just put it in the little cracks and crevices. And because it's water soluble, you can really easily smooth it out with just a little bit of water that you brush on top. Now glue, you're going to want a fair bit of PVA glue, especially if you want to get into doing more diorama based stuff, building little constructions or mixing basing stuff. But super glue is crucial, especially when it comes to constructing your minis and it's also so something that's hard to get the right amount of and the right quality of. Both of these are both of those. You'll also get a custom cutting mat. This one isn't the custom one. The manufacturers haven't sent it over yet, but it's they're making it now. When I say custom, it's just got the Jazz Avatar face on it. And last but not least, and this is just some extra goodness that I wanted to put in there. We've got some cork, some styrofoam, and some foam core board. And these are really useful for basing and for diorama building and just constructing scenes or sets or whatever. So that's everything in the Mega Minis box. All of the stuff will fit in the box nice and snugly, but because I haven't done it carefully, as you can see, there's so much stuff it barely fits. But I can't even begin to tell you how much satisfaction and joy I've gotten from taking up miniature painting. I think there is genuinely something about miniature painting that is satisfying for a creative person in its nature, because you focus on the minutia and the details, and then when you pull back to look at the whole, even even if you're learning and you make mistakes or you're not as good as some of the people who are amazing at it, it's always satisfying to look from a distance and admire the way it all comes together. There really is something very satisfying about the process. And I know some of you who are going to try it for the first time are going to become addicts and blame me for it. But I am most uh, excited about this this Apocalypse Ghost miniature, which I'm going to make uh, the artwork for the Ultimate Creativity Collection based on. I'm going to create a scene and a diorama based around these characters to replicate and reimagine the original artwork using some of the inks and clays for the sky and the surroundings, using the diorama tools and the, all of the different paints and all the different mediums to create something really special and unique. As a way to show not only how all of these boxes can work together really well, but also how much you can do with them and how fun it is when you have an end result that you're proud of. And speaking of an end result you're proud of, frankly, I think that's really how I'd summarize these boxes. Like I said early on, and I sort of went through the opening stuff very quickly because I wanted to get to showing you the stuff, but I have worked relentlessly to make these as amazing for you as possible. I really have. I've stayed up to... <laughs> too long <laughs> and worked too hard to help sculpt the miniature, to design all of the custom packaging and cull down into the perfect combinations for all of the boxes so that you can know you're gonna love the result. And I know you're gonna love any or all of these boxes, whichever you get. I get so much joy making stuff and I get even more joy seeing you make stuff. And then an insane amount of happiness seeing you make stuff with the stuff that I get to share with you. That's what this is about. And I hope you're as excited about it 
as I am. Thank you for making things like this possible. It was with the success of the Jazzy Art Box that I was able to invest in obtaining all of the stock and creating these boxes to make that possible. You are the reason these are possible and you are the reason I want them to be as special as possible. Once again, this is a limited time thing. Just like Jazzy's the Jazzy Art Box, I'm not gonna do this again. But with this one, we've ordered more stock because we expect a higher demand and we've already seen a lot higher demand. But I really don't want anyone to miss out who knows they will regret it if they don't opt in. That's why I wanted to go through everything. And it's also why I've put them together and launched them to you now so that if you get it in time for the holidays, it's gonna be the most amazing gift you could give yourself or someone else. And if you get it, please, please, for the love of God, use the hashtag because my Christmas day present will be seeing you open and use and freak out over how awesome they are. Please use the hashtag. Hashtag Jazza Boxes. If you get one or all of the boxes, show me how much you love the boxes, what you make with the boxes. I wanna see what you do and how much you love it because I know you will. The link's in the description. The details are all there. That's it for now everyone. Thank you so much for watching and making this possible and until next time I'll see you later.